Recently, we witnessed the closing launch of SpaceX's Starship in its current form, a flawless farewell marking the end of Starbase's first chapter. The real headline isn't about what just happened, but about what lies ahead. Before that, let's break down Flight 11, arguably the most precise and successful Starship test so far. It all started with a reused Super Heavy booster. The very same booster previously took flight during Mission 8 back in March 2025. After its earlier mission, the booster was brought back to the Star Factory for maintenance. Some engines were swapped out, but 24 of the original Raptor engines from Flight 8 flew again in Flight 11, and their performance was outstanding. By this point, we all recognize what a smooth Starship launch looks like, and this one delivered just that. The rocket soared gracefully into the clear dusk sky, performed a flawless hot stage separation, and began its return to Earth. This time, SpaceX tested a new approach during the booster's landing burn. Similar to the last two missions, there was no plan to catch it with the tower. Instead, the booster was targeted for a water landing. This allowed the engineers to experiment freely without risking major damage if something went wrong. Normally, the booster fires 13 engines and gradually reduces to three for landing. But this time, SpaceX tried 13 to five to three engines, a brand new approach. SpaceX confirmed this was a test of the updated landing sequence intended for the upcoming V3 booster. The idea is to conserve fuel during descent leaving more propellant available for the launch phase. Meanwhile, the Starship itself continued smoothly on its suborbital flight path around Earth. The goal was simple, ensure the spacecraft stayed fully stable and nothing failed mid-flight. Not only did Starship maintain perfect control while coasting, but it also showcased the strength of its wing flaps, this time surviving re-entry heat without issue. About 58 minutes after launch and 50 kilometers above Earth, the ship began its first controlled banking maneuver. This was the first mid-flight course correction test. Rather than descending in a straight arc, the spacecraft was guided through a semi-circular flight path. This test is vital for future missions, where Starship will need to fly back and land at its original launch site. Near touchdown, Starship must perform a rotation to line up precisely with the catch arms on the tower. This rotation maneuver was demonstrated around one hour and five minutes into the mission. The ship rotated roughly 180 degrees before flipping downward and firing its engines for landing. Despite all the complex maneuvers, it landed perfectly beside the floating camera board. It touched down softly on the water, then toppled and broke apart moments later. That marked the final time a Starship mission would look this way. Flight 12 will open a brand new chapter in Starship's evolution. Next time, everything from the ship and booster to the launch pad will be redesigned. The upcoming version of the Super Heavy booster will feature a new appearance and significantly higher thrust. It will still use 33 engines, now upgraded to the Raptor V3 model. Each new Raptor delivers about 280 tons of thrust, a big jump from the previous 230. Raptor 3 also introduces a cleaner, more compact design with far fewer visible components. The simplified structure makes manufacturing easier and improves reliability during launches. SpaceX confirmed that Raptor 3 testing has wrapped up successfully. The booster will be slightly longer to fit enlarged propellant tanks. A huge internal pipe now carries liquid methane from the upper tank down to the engines. That single transfer tube is roughly the same size as a Falcon 9 rocket. The grid fins have been reduced from four to three, now arranged in a T-shaped layout. Each remaining fin is about 50% larger and sturdier than before. As usual, Elon Musk's mantra of the best part is no part drives this redesign. The booster will now include a built-in hot stage system, a first for Super Heavy. The old adapter, though small, added about 10 metric tons of extra mass. The new triangular frame design allows exhaust gases to escape more freely. The upper methane tank dome now has extra steel reinforcement for fire protection. From the outside, Starship V3 looks familiar, 
but its internal systems are heavily upgraded. Earlier V2 versions struggled with reliability and frequent in-flight failures. Over the past year, engineers have been in continuous test and improve cycles. Engineers have overhauled the V3 fuel delivery system from the ground up. The rocket now uses the newer Raptor engines, expected to be much more dependable. The upgraded Starship Super Heavy system now carries roughly 100 to 150 tons to low Earth orbit. That payload capacity matches the legendary Saturn V used for Apollo missions. But unlike Saturn V, Starship will be completely reusable. SpaceX also revealed the clearest look yet at how orbital fuel refilling between two Starships will work. The V3 Starship includes new docking ports on its rear side, opposite the heat shield. There will be two Starship variants, one designed to transfer fuel and one to receive it. Once docked, the pair will pump liquid fuel from one to the other. This enables the second ship to travel deeper into space or toward new destinations. While not the ultimate version, V3 is expected to make the first crewed attempts to reach the Moon and Mars. All this will operate from an upgraded launch complex and tower, collectively called Stage Zero. Flight 11 marked the final mission launched from Tower 1. Tower 2 introduces a conventional flame trench and high-capacity water cooling system. The new tower stands taller and is structurally more robust than the previous design. Interestingly, the new catch arms are shorter than the original Mechazilla arms. The reduced size allows faster motion and better stability. The first Mechazilla arms were designed before any actual rocket catch experience existed. Now with experience, SpaceX is building more refined and efficient systems. All of this sets up an exciting future for Starship development. The next phase of Starship promises more breakthroughs and milestones ahead. Stay tuned for what's next.